What's going on there, YouTube? Well, I've been kind of diddling around with that Olive Radio Row crop that I started in the last customizing video. I found my sheet styrene in my uh, little parts drawer there, so I decided to make the fenders for it, but uh, I didn't know I was going to turn out. So I did it kind of off camera, plus I was cutting the styrene with my knife and it was kind of close to my hand. I figured if I cut myself, I don't need to teach any of you youngins any new cuss words. But anyway, Here's how she turned out. And there's the little fenders there, fellas. Shake these wheels off and show you the other side. It turned out pretty symmetrical. Oh, hey, there's a big word for you, Kurt. Symmetrical. I bet you can't spell that. Anyway. That's the sheet styrene I used. And basically what I used to make these fenders. I used a uh, exact knife to cut. I used a drywall sanding sponge to this sand the edges out because I don't know where my little file is. I had a small little triangular file that worked real good for doing the styrene. Then of course to bend the pieces of styrene, it's a two part fender. Of course the inner part which is a kind of V looking now and then the curved tops I used uh, this styrene here and I used a little bit of heat from a cigarette lighter because my t little blowtorch is in my back shop and I don't know if I'd be able to get the shed doors open so the lighter worked just good. You don't have to like light it on fire or nothing as you can see the one's a little bit got a little bit hot but of course I only have to hold it there for about 30 seconds or so and then of course just a little bit of good old super glue there to hold it all together but anyway basically uh, how I got the height and the shape and whatnot I just traced one of the uh Oliver 70 fenders there. Well, it's actually an 88 fender, but it does work. So this tractor is basically ready for paint now. I'll uh, put the little wheels and tires, or the wheels back on it rather, and we'll uh, see the final product. Here's your scratch built fenders here. I could have drilled the hole a little bit taller. I, I might even do that yet. They're not really well glued on there. They're just kind of tacked on there, but that's all right. They're just a touch high, but it doesn't look too god-awful bad. They got the wheels tucked in real deep right now, so that way I can make sure I get fender clearance for the lugs there on the steel wheels. But yeah, it turned out not too, too bad anyway. Got to make my little air breather cap there, but this one's basically ready to be painted. Got a bunch of stuff ready for paint, but uh, of course we got cold weather out, and it doesn't paint doesn't like that set up in the cold too much so uh anyway if you guys like that video please comment rate, subscribe if you're interested in a tractor combine piece of equipment for the greatest farm collection youtube the p.o box address will be in the description box below and we'll see you guys on the next one